Uh, Rolo, did you care at all about your wife's body count when considering her for marriage? Or did her current behavior have having behavior, having genuine desire for you matter more? Um, did you ever ask? Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know. Well, they always say double it. So, you know, I know what the body count is. But like her I, generation I, was the most promiscuous. Yeah, you know that? yeah, yeah. But um, I mean, I can all, see. Here's the thing. If I go in and say, oh, well, she told me it was only no, four, like guys yeah. are going to go, whoa, what a chump. He doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. Like, you like can tell. I can I can tell you what I can tell you what I know for a fact of four. Right. So yeah. so people go, well, double that. And that's the truth. They're right? like, seriously, uh, I'm like, magical that's, thinkers. Yeah, and so is it so is it then is it then a measuring contest where it's like, you OK, well, I've been what you don't, you know, know. My, my notch count is like 41, 42. And I'm being yeah. like, completely honest when I say that I got, it's been public knowledge since the Pat Campbell days. Yeah. Um, but when it's, but was that a factor? Mm, not really. Not really at that time. Uh, I don't think uh, because you got to remember that, like, uh, the idea of, of notch count and promiscuity. I was, remember, I wasn't, I wasn't this Rolo when I met my wife. Right. right. So I think people like misconstrue the fact, well, he's always known this stuff. He just came, he came out of the womb pushing P. Well, right? you knew it. How did but he you have this God like knowledge? It. Right. That's like, no, I yeah. didn't. And then like, I, I went with the information I had at that time. I was already spinning plates at that time too. So it was really, I wasn't really thinking about notch count as much as I was. Can I, what about my notch count? Can I be like, like faithful to this person? And the answer was yes. Would you rather a woman that has no body count virgin, a horrible chemistry or a woman who has a high, high body count, but really good chemistry? I would be guys trump the chemistry. I, I think. Um, maybe I'm wrong. Say it's a trick it. question. So you got a girl who's got good chemistry with you. Good chemistry was a hoe. Like mm -hmm. streets. All her 20s. <laughs> like I would go for that. I would, Don't I would, fall in love with the hoe. I'll go with the hoe. Okay. Follow up question. <laughs> would you? I'll go with the hoe because I know how people are. And I the only reason I say that is because... Um, like people go, oh, don't you want a virgin bride Genuine or whatever? First, first, of all, first of all, you're never going to know the exact count. And even if you did, it's not a numbers game. It's an alpha impact game. Thank what you. I would really like, I what I would really like is to know who was who, what alpha is she widowed from? Who is she thinking about at night? Who is she like pining for still? If she's not, and I am the one who gives her the most alpha impact of yeah. anyone in her life, then I don't care. Yeah. And like people will say like virgins, they're less likely to get divorced. And I'm always mm -hmm. saying, no, that if they get married, but for 23, they mm -hmm. have the highest instances, mm -hmm. instances of divorce. The younger you get, the younger you get married, the higher the instance of divorce. But like if they have never had sexual partners, it's like the this person is going to get divorced. So if they're mm -hmm. 23 and a virgin, great. But like, how does. Well, yeah, you, gotta, you have to remember, like a lot of people love to sort of misconstrue those. Yeah. Those stats. OK, so the I first thing the is if women with a higher body count report. Yeah. Um, report report exactly. lower lower marital sexual satisfaction or marriage it's satisfaction like how do they define they it? report higher instances of depression they report lower instances of overall happiness they are of course they, yeah. <laughs> higher instances of sexually transmitted diseases um and then like women with very low body counts or no body counts they report being much happier, but is that because they don't know what they're missing right. or is it because that there's actually a qualitative difference in that? I and so say, yeah. you have to take all of those data points together. You can't just point at one thing and without looking at the correlates there. So I have a question. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> um, wait, let me get through this one really no, quick. So Hexican says thoughts on tool. I Torsha. love tool. Okay. Torsha, okay. What's your favorite band? Torsha? Uh, Pink Floyd. Pink Floyd, really? Yeah, David yeah, Gilmore is the that. love of my life. Okay, would you rather a girl that got rammed by like a 34 inch for every day for a year or, and great chemistry, mm -hmm. or, <laughs> or a girl that has a notch count of 100, whatever. Wait, did I say that right? That's a lot. Like getting rammed by this 34 inch or every day for a year or a notch count of let's say 50. No, 34. It's huge. Rammed every 34 day. 34 inches. Yeah. 
This is how I this look, is how I look, dismantle. Someone is, someone is already like <laughs> I think it's somebody funny. is already sock puppeting you in the, in what, the is chat. That, what does that mean? That means they're like trying to post under your name and your your app. Can you guys not do that? Like, dude, she's right here. Like, so I <laughs> like, have come a on. wrench. She has no. I have a wrench. Yeah, she has nothing. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Say, what would I rather have as? So what's worse? A girl that gets rammed by an, uh, a guy who lays the D like a 34 inch, you know, what's eggplant every day for a year. So how many days are in a year? I 365. Would, or I would like to see how that guy gets in the car. Nope. <laughs> Another <laughs> leg. Okay. Or a woman with a notch count of 50 and she's like 18. <laughs> There's a lot of girls that are 18 that have a notch count of 50. Um, again, it's alpha impact. Like the guy who, the guy who had the <laughs> He's big. He's an alpha. <laughs> well, okay. So that's, well, I mean, you can have a big dick and still but be like, you can still be no, a chump. No, he's an so, alpha. But... He's an alpha. Did you ever see Boogie Nights? He's avoiding the question. <laughs> Next question. Go to no, chat. no, I'm not avoiding the question. Uh, I would say uh, I would probably go with the, the girl with 50 at that point. Because there's a probability because of that the they high could probability, have small well, dicks. Well, the high probability. It's not even so much small dicks. It's like that guy most likely fucked her in a way that she wanted to be fucked. Like that sets the benchmark. Yeah, because she was with she, that's, just one guy. That's literally the metric by which she measures other men. No. What if she was <laughs> not allowed to leave? <laughs> God. Yeah, we're moving the goalpost here i would go the exception not I the would, rule i would go with the girl who had 50 rather than the guy because it's or again it's not a numbers game and i think a lot of guys think that they think that oh man if she's got if she's number. been run through with 50 that well okay look, well, what if you had a girl who had four yeah and she's pining for this guy who you will never compare to alpha wise and she's like rocked her world and now he's maybe she's literally a widow from the guy or whatever I would say, or you got a girl who's got How old uh, is a body count of ten, and she, uh, she's you're you're the most alpha dude she's ever been with. You, I think you make a bigger, suck. you make a bigger, you make a bigger impact. I would argue that the girl with ten that you are the How old, old is she? the highest. Well, whatever, twenty five, right? Okay, twenty five, ten, and twenty five, four. Mm -hmm. Middle of her, um, almost the middle of her sexual market value range. Like, so she can get other guys, right? But she's ready I would, to settle down. I would, it actually doesn't make any difference. But like yeah, really I was going to say, um, so if you got a girl who's got like three or four guys, and mm -hmm. one of those guys was like a guy that you will never compare to, he's an actor, he's got a big dick, or he's he's got Jason money Momoa, or or he's Jason Momoa, right? Or Savo. So that guy, that guy, <laughs> Alpha, he's that guy. Yeah. Or she's got ten, mm -hmm. but none of those guys are nearly a, a close to being as alpha I guess as you the are. Ten. But um, I'm also a bitch. That's why I say is because it's not a numbers game <laughs> so much as it is an alpha impact game. Now, yeah. women with higher body counts, the likelihood of yeah. one of those guys being that guy is is much higher. And so right. you got to sort of take that the the numbers into consideration there. But it's not about the it's not about the numbers themselves. It's about the guys amongst those numbers that she's fixated on. But what if we know hypergamy is very good at its job? It doesn't give a fuck. So what if her going through all those guys was because none of these guys met? that alpha standard it's possible you know what i'm saying hypergamy does its job it does it well it's supposed to 